Hey everyone, it's Erin. I'm back and I'm ready to show you how to create a watercolor painting in Photoshop. Um, I just did the Illustrator tutorial and now I kind I want to show you, since I know a lot of you use both Illustrator and Photoshop, I want to show you how to create somewhat the, the same effect but with Photoshop instead. Um, either way though you have to or should start out with your vector line drawing um, just to make sure that that part is nice and high resolution and crisp and clear so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab that line drawing and I'm gonna so this is Illustrator I'm gonna copy command C go back to Photoshop and command V to paste it I'm gonna paint paste it as pixels so there's my line drawing which obviously because we're in Photoshop is now raster so it's gonna look a little pixely when you zoom in but it'll be fine so we want again we want to keep our line art layer on top and then we want to make the layer underneath it our watercolor so um, let's start with the clouds again so this is a very similar technique, um, but you have a little bit more creative outlet. So I'm going to start, I'm going to select the brush tool, and I'm also going to bring up my brush palette, which can be found under window as well. So once you have the paintbrush selected, over here are all your paint paintbrush options, and basically in Photoshop it's a lot more like traditional painting um, you're just picking your brushes and the shape and the sizes and all that electronically so brush tip shape you can check or uncheck these boxes to add or remove these options to your brush um, up here in the upper right is the type of brush that you want to use. They have just the normal circle, they have a soft circle, they have a fan brush, and you can see down here as I switch options the preview changes down here at the bottom. So there's all sorts of different brushes. I'm gonna start with the fan brush because I think that's pretty similar. Um, I Well it's called the flat fan brush and this slider towards the middle makes your stroke thicker or smaller and we're gonna start with a pretty big um, thick stroke and here's my preview of my brush if I move my mouse over to my um, painting area and you can adjust the spacing of the bristles you can play around with all these sliders so you get an idea try different brushes um, I have the wet edges checked but I'm gonna uncheck it um, smoothing, dual brush, each option, each time you click it's going to give you a different look. So the only other important thing is to make sure up here at the very top when you have your brush selected that your opacity is basically anything 90% and lower because if you have it at 100%, let's just slide it up here to 100, then you're gonna get pretty much a solid color paint and in watercolor obviously one of the trademarks of watercolor is that it's a little bit transparent so we're gonna drop this down um, I'm gonna start with about 70 and I want blue so I'm just gonna kinda pick a random blue over here and I'm just gonna give it a whirl okay first that's too heavy for me too solid so we're gonna command Z and we're gonna bring that opacity down. So let's try 27, and let's do it again. There we go, that's a nicer color blue. And then I'm gonna switch my brush because I want it to look different. And I might even adjust my blue just a little bit to give it some depth. So then I'm gonna paint again, and give it over here. Change my brush. I really at this point have no rhyme and reason maybe I'll get a little bit thicker brush too 
Again, I'm going to try another blue, maybe something dark for this bottom part. So, I'm not sure I like those scratchy lines, but again, you can play around with this however you want. Let's do another cloud. No, nope, let's do let's do this leaf so we can at least switch colors. So I'm gonna I know I'm gonna want some shade of green, so I'm gonna pick that. I'm gonna make sure I go back to my paintbrush tool. And let's try adding some texture. Let's scroll down here. I mean there's like what a hundred brushes brush sizes to choose from here. Let's try this one out. There's my preview. That looks a little bit small. I think I'm going to make it bigger. My opacity is still real low. I like that. So let's give this a whirl. Oh. Command Z. I'm just going to do... Oh, there we go. And I want a little bit more greenish. So, and I'm going to change my opacity so it's a little darker. Give it some depth. There we go. And it starts changing. Perfect. Pretty quick and easy, but yet it looks so cool. So back to my paintbrush, back to the blues. Do something a little different with this one. Change up my tone. Let's even try another brush. Make it big. Cool. And bring my opacity up a little bit more. Fill in that middle part. There. So, a little bit different look than Illustrator, um, but I feel like you have a little bit more control over your look. So once you play around with the brushes, um, and once you find the right combination of um, brushes that you like, then, you know, make a preset. So we're in here. Once you find the combination of all of this that you like, you can hit this button, brush preset, and you can do new brush preset. And you can name it whatever you want. Aaron's watercolor. Keep that capture brush size and preset checked and hit OK. I really hope that that is a fun project for you to work on and I can't wait to see what everyone creates. Thanks for watching.